everyone my pipe back with probably the most up-to-date video you're ever going to see on my channel because i live in the uk i normally get this stuff pretty late but thanks to smiths we found them now funny story behind this um you'll see this when you actually see the hunt video for this um which you haven't seen yet but when i found um the clutch aid racing tractor which is hopefully the next review that you'll see on the channel um i actually zoomed in on top of the um, shelves at smiths and there was case k and me being the absolute idiot that I am was like, well, I'm not actually an idiot, but you know, I was like, okay, right, so Case K, I love that's the one that has the Clutch Aid Racing Tractor, and it has um, the Toll Cab Stock Car, who I've forgotten the name of, and I had um, Antonio Excelente, you know, that guy. Um, but no, I didn't actually realise, and then um, Hogwarts Steve Hirsch as well, I didn't realise that that was Case J. And this is Case K. And these were up there all along, you know. I mean, I'm a, it was Case K all the long da 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 da. And it had Cruz and Rich and Sterling. It was Case K all the long. Sorry, massive One Division fan here, guys. Um, I couldn't really help that. Yeah, these guys were here all along. I want to give a massive, massive, massive shout out to Disney Dockard, one of the other brilliant cars YouTubers who I watch and suggest all the time. Um. Last night, he actually uploaded a video unboxing Case K. And I watched that video this morning when I got up, because, you know, time zone he posted it overnight. Um, and I was like, that's Case K. Case K has Cruz, has Sterling, it has Rich. It also has um, oh, the next gen, not the next gen, the Red Bull Racer. Can't remember his name, but you know which one I mean. Um, yeah, I was just like, I can't believe that. I actually missed out on them. Um, so I went to the Smiths website and I saw that these were in stock. And they weren't shown as in stock the other day, which was strange. But these are now in stock. In stock. They were there. They were there the other day. But now they're shown that they're there. Um, basically, and here they are. So enough waffling on. I know I've just wasted so much time waffling. We're going to start on with this review. So, yep. I'll put that link in the description to load it below to Disney Dockets Case K Unboxing. Go check it out, I would highly recommend if you wanted to say what is in this case and like, you don't make the same mistake as I did. We're going to start off from um, left to right here and we are going to start off with um, Mr Sterling. Now Sterling is quite an odd one I know um, but basically uh, this is my first Sterling believe it or not. This is the first 155 scale, I don't have a mini version, I don't have a normal version. This is my first Sterling. So I'm just going to go quickly on to this one because he is kind of a boring ish release here at least to some people to me he's not so there's still his all break there on the desert horizon metal series it looks really really nice the cars logo up there and i hope that the um the lighting on my phone here I've, I've started to put the flash on for these videos to improve the lighting a bit better so that doesn't interfere too much but there's sterling there he is very nice and we'll have a look at the back here i see it in cars three and there he is. And also Mattel started to put this on the back. Mattel, empowering the next generation through play. I am not the next generation, guys. I'm not a next gen. I'm like a retro stock car. I'm not a next gen. Well, that's that's pretty, um, that's different. You know, they've never, well, I saw, actually saw this on the, um, the tractor when I did that unboxing video. But I completely forgot to actually point it out. So I was quickly going with Sterling here. I know he's like a slightly, um boring re-release so i wouldn't if you want to skip ahead to the more exciting releases honestly it wouldn't offend us too much um i'm only doing this because this is like my case k kind of like highlights video um they didn't have well they had the rebel racer there but i completely forgot to pick him up because i i forgot really um but yeah we'll just quickly go into sterling here nice little zoom in so there he is sterling has got his tongue sticking out that's a bit weird is that his tongue? I don't know, that's weird. Um, but you know, there's Sterling, you know. Sterling from the front. Got the nice wheels there, quite like them. Yeah, I'm, I'm honestly not going to spend too much time on Sterling. Sterling on the back there. Yeah, you know, it's, it's Sterling, guys. Um, I'm just happy to finally have him. Have him in the collection. Um, I know it has took a while, but I'm happy to have him. 
and here he was made in Thailand, made in the 21st week of 2021 in the A factory. So there's a quick nice little review on Sterling, brand new car for me. Very, very happy to actually finally get a hold of him. But in terms of the new stuff, the stuff that you're all probably waiting for, and it's only took about five minutes to get into this because I waffle far, far too much. Let's get into the new releases. So first of all, we're going to start with Rich Hurry here. Rich, Rich Hurry, yeah, Rich Hurry. Which is um, the final Cotter Pin Band member that we actually need from the year. We've got Robert Jam Jones. We've got Pam Wheeldarrow. And if I remember correctly, Sweet Tea is being released in a two-pack of Guido. I could be thinking that's completely wrong for this year, but in the past, Sweet Tea, this, the band singer, has been released in a two-pack of Guido. With like a little microphone. I don't have it, but, you know. Here we go, the, last, the final band member. So... There he is. Awesome little car rod there. The Desert Horizon Metal series. He's got his little um, slider thing. And he does come with a nice little um, speaker. So he actually comes with two accessories. Which is pretty good. The car and two accessories. Which is pretty awesome. He is new for 2021. And he does have a little choking hazard for everything. I mean a kick and choke on him or any of the pieces. Important information that. It, I know it takes up some of the space. But if it prevents a kid choking. It prevents a kid choking. So have a look in the back. I mean, all three of these were, well, Cruise was seen in Cars 3, but it's not going to say that on the back. The rest of these were actually Cars 3 cars. So here was seen in the cover pin. There's a stock image there. And I have a little new Mattel Next Gen thing, which is offensive because I'm not a Next Gen, but, you know, these are kids' toys. I'm an adult who collects these. So, yeah, I'll be back in one minute. I'm just going to cut this video. Well, I was just filling most of this video without even knowing that the camera decided to cut out last minute and just completely not record anything. Good on you, iPhone. Good on you. But anyway, we can come back as if nothing has ever happened. Because thanks to the magic of blisters, you can't even tell if this guy's being open. Well, you kind of can't actually, but, you know, we'll work with it. So sorry that I had to cut the video earlier. I had to go answer the door. But here we are. I'm going to keep going as if nothing ever happened. So, yes, Rich Hurry, guys. Like I say, the last um, Cotter Pin band member that we need. Um, yeah, so here he is on the 2021 Blue Desert Horizon, not Blue Desert Horizon, the Desert Horizon packaging. And there's a clear, crisp image of him there with his little guitar slider and his jukebox speaker thing. Here's part of the metal series because Mattel's now finally decided how about these cars are metal. Now that we've known that for the last 15 years. He is new for 2021. And I do have to have this little choking hazard on. Because a kid could literally choke on any of these pieces. But hey, you'd rather have a um, choking hazard than not have a choking hazard. On the back here, you were seen in Cars 3. There's a stock image of a little slider and a little jukebox there. And the new next gen. You know, I'm not a next gen. The next gen um, little sticker there. I'm a stock car, not a next gen, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get into the unboxing. Magic. <laughs> nice clean card open there. We'll retake them out of the blister because nothing ever happened. Let's pop everything back in there. And look, he's open, guys. Yay, nothing went wrong. So, we'll start with the accessories first. Um, so, here's this little guitar slider thing. Um, I'm probably going to get the name of this wrong because I'm not a magician. I'm, a magician. I'm not a magician. Of course, I'm not a magician. I'm not a musician, even. Um, I'm keeping all these bloopers in because I find bloopers are funny. I like bloopers so we can enjoy some of my bloopers when my tongue ties up and I, the camera decides to cut out and I can't record anything. But anyway, so we've got these like little like guitar strings, the strings, the kind of tuning device and the like the guitar handle. I will say it has been very, 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 very nicely printed on. It actually makes it look wooden. Looks very, very nice. Now this is this is plastic and it, it makes it look wood. Now you can see on the side there there's the full plastic. Cool, 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 cool. And here's this little um kind of jukebox speaker, whatever you want to call it. Textured in the middle there, button stick out, little handle at the top, completely plastic again. And we do have Robert's um Robert Jam Jones's is 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 speaker. So obviously the one on the left is Rich's, the one on the right is Robert's, and Rob's got a bit of, Rob's got a bigger one. Rob's is a lot bigger. 
the detail is still the exact same. The handle does stick out slightly more on Rob's, but that's, I think, because of the side more than anything else. Apart from that, everything else is exactly the same. Can't complain, honestly. Nice. I like the accessories. The accessories look really, really good. And now we're going to go into the main review, the main car, the main forklift even himself. Rich. So the colours, really, really nice. Really nice shade of turquoise there. Look quite happy. Happy little smile. Now one thing that I will say that is forklifts are actually off on the side here. Like, because obviously when he does his little thing, he's like, he's like moving his forklift across the, I'll show you. He's like moving his forklift across here. So it almost looks like he's in position to like move his forklift. Because it's not straight. It's really not straight. But yeah, looks nice. If I look at the side here, got one big wheel and one small wheel. Goes like brown, brownie coloured kind of cap. There's the back of them there. Quite nice. Nice colour again. I love this like shade of turquoise. I look at the base here. He was made in the twenty first week of twenty twenty in the A factory, which is exactly the same as Sterling. Which is cool. And they always have these like cars that are made in like the same time in the same case. I love it. And he is made in Thailand. So we are going to compare them to the rest of the um, band members which I have. Um, I don't have Sweet Tea. I believe that should be in releasing the two pack with Weedle this year. I'm not 100% sure, but in the past years, releasing the two pack with Weedle with a microphone and all that. So we'll start off with the first guy that we got for the year, Robert Jam Jones. Very different models, but I just wanted to have a little look at them together. There he is. They're a similar length, and Robert does have that kind of big tire at the front and slightly smaller tire at the back. Windows are different shapes and sizes, but obviously Rich is taller, so that kind of makes sense. Yeah, I love how they've done the forklifts on him to make them actually bend. It looks really, really good. So there's him. And then we've got Pam. Pam is the second band member who we got. So obviously Robert's the guitar player, Pam's the drummer. These have a very similar height. Actually, they look to be actually the same height. But they're not the same model. Don't let that fool you. Because I made this mistake earlier. I was like, oh, they look like the same model, but they're really not. Caps are different. Got two big tyres instead of a big tyre and a small tyre. Obviously, this little thing on the back. Don't really, not too sure what that is, but... That. There's from the front. So now I do have like all of the band members. So move me tripod down a little bit. That'll do. <laughs> so we have got Rich, the little guitar slider, the little um speaker there. I well, just imagine that Pam's drums are there. I didn't bring out the drums. And <laughs> we've got Robert there as well. With his little speaker. So yeah, there's the um, the full squad of like instrument players completed for the year uh, from Mattel. So that's a good job of Mattel for actually releasing them all. That's what I'm going to say. Because it wouldn't surprise us if they didn't release one of these. But they have, which is good. And like I said, I, I think they're releasing Sweet Tea again with Greedo this year. I could be completely wrong. But yeah. And finally for the last one, the most anticipated one in my opinion of the case. Um, I love the Racing Reds. We have got her totally not opened. Definitely hasn't been opened before. Uh, Dynaco Cruise Mirrors here. The red version, the Racing Red Dynaco Cruise. So we're getting to have a look at the card art. We have got... Obviously, the red, which is good because when they've done the silvers, they didn't actually make the like, the image of the car silver. They had like, a normal, like, red Lightning McQueen, blue king, green chick hicks. They, just, they didn't change it up. So this is, this is something they've actually done really, really good on this version. The racing red is to actually make the card art red. We've got the Metal Desert Horizon, the same with all of these, new for 2021. Because the Racing Red is a completely new series. And there we go. Racing Red Dynaco Cruise Ramirez. Looks pretty good. Pretty good. 
Now this is the this is the international version, so we won't have all six, well five and a covered up car on the back. But we do know we have had Meta, Storm, Sally, Francesco, who I don't yet have because Case H just isn't anywhere at the minute. I hope that I find it. I hope that Case H doesn't turn into Case B, because Smith has skipped out Case H. Don't know why. So either Asda or the Disney shop. I'm relying on you if I was to ever get out case G, that is. <laughs> but yeah, here's the stock image for Dynaco Cruise, the Race in Red series. And again, that little next gen thing. Yeah, very nice. Let's open it. There we go, open. <laughs> cool. Let's have a look at Race in Red Dynaco Cruise Ramirez. Actually, looks pretty good. Okay, so. A little zoom in here. Got the same expression as a standard Danico Cruise. Here we are going to compare it to in a little bit. Got the Danico logo, like a kind of silvery chrome kind of colour there. Cool. Got the 51, again, like a chromey kind of colour at the top. Very shiny, this thing. Oh, all the ways in red are shiny. The window bars. The spoiler that actually looks really nice with the red and red and white spoiler. Stands out really, really nicely. The same on this back there, the Dynaco Pebble Cap. And there we go. I'm trying to not make, make the light kind of like dazzle here. There we go. So we have got the Dynaco, the 51, and the Dinosaur in a really, really nice chrome colour. It really stands out, like, really nicely. But we talk about standing out, this is probably the biggest improvement on cruise is they can actually see the sponsors piston club combustor synergy and carbon cyber pretty clear considering that this is from thailand i'm going to say that but yeah um normal dynaco cruise you, you just you can barely see them but this one they stand out they look nice you can actually see them which is pretty awesome the rims just you know your standard red rims for um a racing red Shall not the quid and met metallicalized? Maybe it's metallic compared to the blue metallics of a normal Dynaco Cruise, but I'm not gonna complain. Another good improvement on this is the um the rookie racing and stripes. You can actually see the stripes now. Nice again, the chrome, the 51, the Dynaco logo looks really nice. Other sides the exact same. But have a look at the base here, made in Thailand, in again the same as all the rest of these, the 21st week of 2020. In the A factory, so we do have the um the Thailand version of cruise Dynaco cruise from last year. So yeah, the expression is it looks the same. Obviously the um the red and the the red and the white is now well, red and the chromey when it's now replacing the the yellow and the blue. But I will say that I would have actually quite like Dynaco cruise, um, I think it's like the design more than the character or anything, um, just. It looks really nice like the yellow the blue and the yellow looks incredible as does the silver and the yellow silver and the gold chrome even okay this is what i was saying about the sponsors here is that you can actually see and they are the, the you can see them through the camera lens in person not so much yes really stand out there again if they can make it looks metallic because of the the lighting on me on my phone, but I have it not. I mean, if they can make a metallic blue, why not make a metallic um red? But can't really complain. The light gear text is now yellow compared to white. So yeah, like I say, you just cannot see the spoilers. The not the spoilers. The rookie racing stripe on Dynaco Cruise one bit. Again, it stands out really really nicely on the um the racing red version. Look, spoilers there. Spoilers, window flaps, window bars, and all that being changed up. Looks very, very good. I like it. Very nice one. Now, this is where the camera cut out in the first half. So let's hope that it doesn't cut out again. No. And we are going to put the other next gen Raisin Red. We've got Raisin Red Storm here. Nice little comparison. Look at all the base and reds together. They have the exact same wheels. This is interesting. Again, very sparkly, very shiny stuff. 
Obviously, Storm doesn't have um, Rookie Race and Stripes because he is not really a rookie at this point. Cool. We're going to also pull up Mata here. I'm just going to have a look at all the racing beds together. I know that Mata and Cruz and Cruz and Sally have nothing similar about them apart from the colour, but well, Mata has kind of got the um, the same kind of like chromey gold, not chromey gold, chromey silvery white kind of text and decals on them. Of course, Mata does have a red base. Storm had black. Sally also has like a black kind of colour. Yeah, I love this series. I cannot wait to get Francesco and I can't wait to get Lightning. Then we'll finally have all of the basin reds officially completed and there we go that's the end of the, the review i'm sorry for the amount of cuts in this thing it's been quite difficult to film but here we are camera cut out having to get the door but you know we got there in the end so if you have stuck this too long in the video thanks for watching if you have enjoyed make sure to leave a like let us know in the comments down below have you found case k this is very new i can't believe that i actually found it. i can't believe it's over here so soon but yeah we have it we have case k now I just have to wait painfully until the next case comes out. All the way out, case H. I hope. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Once again, make sure to check out Piston Cup Productions, the Piston Cup Productions, sorry, Disney Dockets um, review, like unboxing, case unboxing in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.